Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems and Boris FX, and today we're going to show you how to use the Mocha Pro 5 plugin inside of Fusion. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Insert Tool, Mocha by Imagineer Systems, and select Mocha Pro. It'll bring up a node, and you simply launch the Mocha UI. Notice this is the interface for Mocha Pro that you're used to, with a few notable exceptions, such as your clip settings and frame resolution coming directly from your timeline. All of this loads from your Fusion timeline instead of from the Clip tab. Other than that, rotoscoping works the exact same way. You make an X-spline or a Bezier, you track, and then you correct your shapes over time. Once you have all of your shapes completed, you can simply check your roto, and then you can export your shapes. In this case, we're going to first apply our mat inside of the plugin. When we apply our mat, you can see that we can actually feather it right here inside of the plugin interface. Alternately, in Mocha Pro 5, I can export to Blackmagic Fusion Comp Data, copy that to the clipboard, and from my clipboard, I will be able to paste my data right into my Fusion Comp by simply selecting my node and hitting Paste. You're also able to paste your shape data out of Mocha Pro 5 by going to Blackmagic Fusion Shapes and selecting all visible layers, copying that to the clipboard, and then once back inside Fusion, simply hitting paste again, and you can see all of your shapes are pasted directly into your Fusion Comp. Another requested feature was the lens and insert tools working inside the plugin. Well, that's really easy. You simply launch the plugin, and then once inside of the Mocha Pro plugin, you're going to go to the Lens tab. Inside the Lens tab, you're going to locate every line that Mocha thinks needs to be straight. And of course, since Mocha is a computer, you have to define the proper straight lines to use as reference points. In this case, we'll select four or five, and then select one parameter distortion, turn our grid on so that we can see what's going on, and we're going to hit Calibrate. Now we can simply hit Save and Close, and now we go into our plugin interface. We select Render, and we're going to select Lens Undistort. We're going to view this in our viewer, and you can see that we have now taken the distortion out of this clip. Let's just turn that on and off so that you can see what we're doing. If we relaunch Mocha Pro, we can actually do an insert right on our timeline and render that back to the timeline. So let's just make a shape and let's track our screen here. Now again, notice that I'm not tracking the entire screen. This is normal Mocha workflow. We're just going to make sure we select multiple shapes on the same layer so that we get a really good track. And from here, we're simply going to hit track forward. Once we track forward, we can start to insert inside of our corner pin slash surface tool. To apply an insert layer from our Fusion Comp, we simply go to our insert clip and select insert layer. Once we save and close Mocha, we're going to be able to jump back to our Fusion Comp. Instead of our Fusion Comp, we can simply load in the insert layer we want to create. In this case, we're just going to load our reel in. And we designate this new clip as our insert into this node. And now you can see that our insert is applied right to our timeline. We have already selected the render checkbox, and for the module that we're rendering, we've selected insert composite. Or we can actually apply it as a transparent layer as well by selecting insert cutout. The stabilize module works in the exact same non-destructive way. You simply apply your Mocha Pro by Imagineer Systems, and you launch the Mocha UI. Once inside the Mocha UI, you're going to want to track a plane that you can always see in the shot that you want to stabilize. In this case, we're going to use the road. I'm going to use the Add to X-Plane tool in order to get better tracking data on either side of our running man. Once I've done that, I can align the surface and hit track forward so I can check my track. Once my track is complete, I can jump over to the Stabilize module. Inside of the Stabilize module, I can simply stabilize based on X, Y, and rotation. And we can see what that looks like. Now I feel like that looks pretty good, but I also feel like it's cutting off a lot of my frame. Well, one of the things I can do about that is I can go to my frame list and I can actually add a full frame at the beginning and the end of the shot, just like so. Now it will pan between these two points based on my stabilized data. Back inside of Fusion, I select my render and I select Stabilize and it will render right back to my timeline inside of Fusion without having to render natively out of the Mocha Pro software. And finally, the Remove module works the exact same way, rendering to and reading from your native Fusion timeline. Simply launch the Mocha UI and once inside the Mocha UI, 
you can select your X blinds, and in this case we're going to define the foreground lady, the yellow lady, and track the background. Once we have tracked the background to our satisfaction, we can select our yellow lady and select remove. Back inside of Fusion, we're simply going to select our render and remove. Now on our timeline, we can view our before and after just like this. It really is just that simple and it really does render back to your timeline. If you have any questions, I am Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems and we'll be happy to help you at www.imagineersystems.com.